Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the show. Today, as requested by many of you, we return to a little more lifestyle content and a quick video on the five best tracksuit brands. What brand is best for what situation, when to wear them and when not to, but also which watches and which sneakers work best with them. But don't get me wrong, I will always love my signature turtlenecks and sports jackets in the colder seasons, or for that matter, my Lacoste polo shirts in the warmer weather. But 80% of the time, I am actually in a tracksuit. Now that does not mean that you can't still look dapper, but most importantly, finding the right tracksuit for the right situation is essential. For example, some brands are better for making tracksuits for working out in, or others are just better suited for relaxing in not to mention fit, prices, quality, and style. In my opinion, owning a good tracksuit is as vital to one's wardrobe as a good pair of shoes, a signature fragrance perhaps, or a rugged overcoat for the winter, a good bag, and all the other essentials I could go on and list. Now, before we get into this, uh, guys, please click like if you'd like to see more free content on this channel. And also, I'll do wristwatch check, wearing the Dan Henry, it's back. If you recall from my review last year, I was rather critical, <laughs> but I had to report the truth. Uh, you know, that's the whole point of the review. Uh, but they took care of me, they fixed it. And I got to say their customer support was fantastic. Yeah, I'm glad it's back. And as you can see, sono tutto vestito in nero oggi, allora è perfetto. So the number one reason why tracksuits are so addictive and compelling and practical is, well, comfort. But there is one brand, and it is of course Fila, their velour tracksuits that is more comfortable without a shadow of a doubt than any other tracksuit. As the name suggests, Fila is originally Italian and amazingly over 100 years old then switched in the 1970s to sportswear with the success of their clothing for various tennis players. Since then, it has been famously worn by James Bond, no less, in the 80s. Also, its adoption in various British subcultures of the 90s, perfectly encapsulated by the movies of Nick Love. And naturally, if you saw my video on the watches of The Sopranos, Fila was highly favoured by Tony Soprano and his associates in the early 2000s. Typically, the blend is 80% cotton and 20% polyester. However, some of my older tracksuits certainly do feel softer, so I am unsure if the general quality has diminished over time. Despite that, they still feel very luxurious, and due to the more lavish nature of the fabric, luxury watches work best here, especially gold or two-tone watches for that ultimate 80s chic. So the best place to buy Fila tracksuits is actually directly from them on their website. You will not find a better price, I don't think, online. Typically their tops are absolutely fine for me, but I have found their pants a little bit saggy, a little bit kind of baggy. So I'd advise either going a size down or getting ones with elasticated cuffs. I wouldn't recommend them to uh, work out in. I know, ironically, that's what they were supposed to um, well, what they were designed for in the first place, but it's just the velour fabric tends to be very absorbent. If you sweat into it, it becomes heavy, uncomfortable, sticky to the skin. So yeah, it's more just for like, kind of lounging about, <laughs> really. Especially in the colder months, I tend to wear them at home because they're very warm, that plush, luscious fabric. So for working out, uh, I recommend my second choice, which is of course, Nike. Nike is the largest sports manufacturer of sportswear in the world, and as a result, their range of tracksuits they offer is difficult to beat, not only for style, but crucially, functionality. This is the brand I personally use for working out in, as their trademarked dry fit technology is absolutely outstanding. It's a great durable and light polyester fabric that is designed to help keep you dry, so you can move more comfortably during cardio. In terms of everyday, I absolutely adore their fleece tech material too. This relatively new reinvention of the classic fleece is a tri-layer fabric that is light, 
and also warmer than traditional fleece. And overall, much easier to physically move in. Now, I love to wear tech fleece tracksuits from Nike when I travel for several good reasons. First of all, it's breathable when it's hot, then it's very comfortable to move about, you know, when you're moving heavy luggage, when you're inside the plane for a long time, beyond the comfort, you know when they turn the aircon on and it gets really cold on a long flight, well, it's actually quite warm as well, so it just ticks a lot of boxes. In terms of size and fit, Nike is the most consistent, definitely. I've never had any sizing issues, uh, they're pretty much true to size every single time, I've found. Now, I tend to only wear sports watches with Nike. Anything from G-Shock to a Rolex Submariner is absolutely fine here, but definitely no dress watches, as Nike has always had a modern and youthful look to their designs, unlike the more classic feeler we talked about previously. The only negative of fleece tech is the price. It is extremely expensive, although I have to say worth it, in my opinion, for the quality. A lot of what I said about Nike could easily be said about Adidas, especially when it comes to pairing their tracksuits with watches. Also, the fit and style is very similar here. However, I find their real strength is in their proprietary Climacool and Climalite materials for hotter weather. While Climalite cools the body by draining away liquid sweat when training, sometimes it also features a layer of what's called hydrophilic coating, which enhances the sweat pulling mechanism. Climacool, on the other hand, works by providing moisture control with microventilation for athletes in extreme heat. Like Nike, it's best to order directly or buy via online stores that are officially authorized. Typically, I find the prices compared to Nike tend to be a little bit more affordable on average. Now, because of the inherent cooling properties of their materials, I tend to wear Adidas tracksuits in the summer and warmer months. Also, it's worthy to note that if you do not want to look like <laughs> the extra member of Run DMC with those iconic white stripes on the, uh, on the sides and going down the leg, then I recommend getting the versions of their tracksuits with the three stripes in the same color as the main tracksuit itself. In terms of size, I tend to find their pants always absolutely spot on, but I have to say their tops are a little bit tight. And if you have a broader build or broader shoulders, then I would always advise going a size up for the top. When it comes to value for money, Box Raw is certainly difficult to compete with in terms of quality, design and functionality for what they offer. Box Raw is a relatively unknown luxury sportswear brand outside of the UK and the boxing circles it was originally designed for. This is why you will see elasticated waistbands manufactured just like traditional boxing shorts, and all of their clothing items are named after illustrious or famous boxers. For example, the Marciano tracksuit, or my favorite, the Whitaker. Founded in 2016 in Coventry, England, Boxraw now offers worldwide shipping directly from their website. So I purchased the deep red, kind of wine red uh, Whitaker tracksuit from Boxraw after seeing it featured in Creed 2, worn by the actor Michael B. Jordan. And I, I wasn't familiar with the brand, but then, you know, obviously I've become addicted. I have so many of their tracksuits now. I love them in terms of quality, value for money, the fit, the construction, stitching, everything. And actually the, the colors available, I, I think they're fantastic. What the film really demonstrated is that you can wear these tracksuits casually in a more casual setting, or as I can personally attest to, I don't know if you guys, well, why would you know this? But in the winter months, I like to do boxing to keep in shape when it's too cold to, to go jogging so I can personally attest that you can wear them for what they are actually intended for they're great oh a nice little detail is the red one I'm not sure if it's for all of them the red version comes with gold hardware so it's really nice to match to jewelry or watches etc so always look out for that when you're picking a tracksuit because uh, it's really nice it adds a little extra level of refinement you know matching and complementing your, your accoutrements. There are many luxury brands you could choose from for a more high-end look, from Prada to Versace and everything in between. However, they all tend to suffer from flashy overbranding or just, quite frankly, tacky, garish designs more often than not. 
And this is why I choose Hugo Boss, as they have consistently for decades produced, tastefully designed for what I call the classic fashionable tracksuit that can be worn more casually beyond the gym or the sofa relaxing at home. While certainly expensive, in my opinion, the refined quality is second to none. And to save a bit of money, I recommend buying yours during online sales from retailers like Macy's or Nordstrom's, as I tend to do this once a year and save a ton of money. So due to the luxury nature of Hugo Boss, I find you can comfortably get away with wearing more tooltastic dedicated watches such as a Flieger or a dive watch, etc. Uh, I love to wear my Fortis Flieger on a rubber strap from Wrist Candy Watch Club with a Hugo Boss with matching little orange details because of course it really complements that uh, iconic neon orange of the Fortis hands uh, that they're famous for. And when you have little details like that, it elevates the whole outfit. It just makes it that little bit more sharper, more dapper. In terms of fit, well, Hugo Boss, Obviously, it's more European in how it wears. So I would advise always going up a size. I pretty much have gone up a size in everything from Hugo Boss. For me, the rules of wearing a tracksuit are very simple. Never wear a leather strap unless the uh, tracksuit itself is from a luxury brand. No classic dress watches, obviously. And always keep in mind, all white sneakers pretty much go with any tracksuit. Just make sure they are, of course, clean. Otherwise, try to match colors in the watches and sneakers if you can. For example, blue dials with blue fabrics, black sneakers with black tracksuits, etc. There are some genres that work better with tracksuits. For example, pilot watches, divers, or just all-round do-it-all watches like date justs and day dates. Avoid NATO straps and field watches too. Rubber straps are fine because they're very sporty, and always try to pick colors in the watch or strap that do not clash with the colors of the tracksuit itself. So there you have it. Now you can even look dapper uh, in a tracksuit, no longer messy or untidy beyond the practical uh, application they were originally uh, designed for. So I only covered five brands. There's tons out there. I wish I could make a top 10, top 15, but do share your favorites. Perhaps there's a brand I should look into that ticks all these boxes. Do share that down below. Uh, stay tuned for more watch content. You know, it's nice to switch it up every so often. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, found it useful. And as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, ciao.